Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is B, and I am happy to have you guys here. So today's makeup look is going to be on this really pretty jewel tone purple color. I was really thinking about what color I haven't really delved into on my channel and I think it's purple and I love purple shadows so I think that's kind of weird I've never really like did a in-depth tutorial for a purple look but I don't think this is going to be an in-depth video anyway it's just going to be a quick toot on this makeup look for my eyes so if you guys want to see what products I used on my eyes for this makeup look then just keep on watching Okay, so today's makeup look is going to be used with the Huda Beauty Palette, and I was going for like a really deep purple makeup look, and then somehow this happened because I just wasn't getting what I wanted out of this palette, so the show must go on. The first shade I'm going to use is the shade Eden, and it's the shade right here, and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And I've already primed my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre. Okay, and the next shade I'm going to use is this shade right here. It's called Saffron. It's this red one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and add that just on the outside of my eye right here. And kind of bring it in just a little bit, not too far into the grease. We are just building up this outer corner. Okay, and on a different brush, I'm using this ColourPop tapered brush. I'm going to go into this shade right here, and I think it's called Weed. Or I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm just going to build up the outer V with this dark brown shade as well. It's actually probably like a purple brown, but... I'm going to just add that right in here for some extra dimension. And I'm mainly just focusing this on the outer corner. All right. And for our all over lid shade, I am going to lay down this base right here. This is the shade Amethyst. And I'm just going to lay that all over the rest of my eye that's bare. And I really have to, I really have to work with this color because it doesn't do what I want it to do. I thought it was going to be like this awesome, like bold purple color, but it, it's not as pigmented as it shows up in the pans. And I've used multiple brushes to try and figure out. Honestly, this is probably the best brush that I can build this color up with. This is a Morphe brush from the White Rose Gold collection. So I sit here and I just have to really like pack it on. It just, I don't know, it's not showing up the way that I want it to. And I kind of blend it into that outer V as well. Alright, and I'm going to go back into our first brush and go into the Eden shade and kind of just blow out my crease a little bit higher. And if you notice, since I was blending on this purple color, it kind of just blended away, so I'm going to have to pack it on again. Like I said, that shade just... That shade just disappointed me a lot because I thought it was going to be so much more and it's not. And So here we go, packing it back on. And I am going to go into that dark shade and just kind of bring this up a little bit more. With a little bit of NYX glitter glue, I'm going to tap this all over my lid space just a little bit. Pretty much everywhere I laid down the amethyst color. And then, for the fun part that kind of saved this makeup look, I'm going to use this shade right here, Twilight. I believe it's a duochrome. And I'm just going to use my finger, and I'm going to apply that directly on where my glitter glue was. And it really just literally makes magic happen. All right, and I'm going to go into my blending brush, and I'm going to make sure that it's nice and blended right over here. 
and in my crease. All right, so now we're gonna move on to lashes and the face, and I will be right back. Okay, so you guys can tell that I went ahead and I put my complexion on, and I did a little bit of contouring, and that's pretty much all I've done. For blush and highlight, I'm actually gonna go into the Becca X Jaclyn Hill palette, but I am going to use this middle shade right here, which is called Amaretto. And actually, you can still get your hands on the Jaclyn Hill highlighters. They come in individual. They sell them at Ulta and Sephora now, so you can just pick that up if you don't have it. I'm just gonna use this palette because I have it and I haven't used it in forever, so I wanted to go ahead and put that on my face today, of course. And I am really just focusing Amaretto on the apples of my cheeks right here. And then I'm flicking out what I have left over into my contour just so that it's nice and blended. Okay, and then for highlighter, I am actually going to use Champagne Pop. It's the um, pinkier shade, peachier shade. And I'm going to use a Luxie Pro Precision Tapered Brush. And I'm just going to lightly tap into there. And then just put this on the high points of my cheeks. I don't know if I like this brush particularly for powder highlight. I feel like this would be good for loose powders. So that's our face that's highlighted. Before we finish off the lips, or finish off with the lips, I want to go ahead and do something to the lower lash line. I know I'm very notorious for never doing my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly, 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 quickly get the lower lash line done. I'm going to go into the shade Eden and Saffron, and those are the only two shades I'm going to use under there. And I'm just going to run it right on my lower lash line. And then, of course, I need to do my inner corner highlight, and I'm going to just go back into the Jaclyn Hill X Becca palette. Pop it right in there. Moving on to, last but not least, lips. Okay, so I'm going to line my lips with the Bella Pierre number 2 Nude Lip Liner. And then for lips, I'm going to use the Lipland Cosmetics X Omrezy, and this is in the shade 88. And to finish off this makeup look, I'm just going to use a little bit of some spray. Which spray do I want to use? Let's just grab one. Okay, so I'm going to use the Catrice Prime and Fine. The last time I used this, it made my face really itchy and I wore it at work. So my face was like really itchy at work and I don't know if it was just because I wasn't feeling it that day, but we're going to try it out again. Let's see what happens. And um, yeah, so let's just set our face with this Catrice Prime and Fine. I'll let you know if my face gets itchy. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, that's going to complete today's quick makeup tutorial. I know I only did the eyes, but honestly, I haven't really changed much about what I did my, with my complexion and as far as like new products that I'm using. But I do have new products that I want to show you. If you guys want to see more from me, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you know when I post videos. And hit that little bell to make sure you get notifications every time I post. Because who knows with me. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.